We are living in unprecedented times. No matter what industry you come from, we must all review, rethink, and reinvent ourselves. Are you an entrepreneur that is trying to adapt your business to the new norm? Well, you are listening to the 2020 Entrepreneur, a podcast that will motivate you and have you think outside of the box. My name is Hugo Almeida, and with over 30 years of being an entrepreneur, I am here to share and inspire you with my experiences and help invent a new you. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of T20E World. And I am so excited once again, as I always am, because today I have one of my mentors, Joseph Nemec. Joe, say hello to everyone. Hi, everyone. Glad to be here. Thanks, Huey. So this is great, Joe, because I finally get you on our podcast, and I'm so grateful that I was able to to bring you over here to be able to talk to our audience and, and chit-chat a little bit about our experiences, right? So a little bit about how Joe and I started. I was a 27-year-old kid trying to get my foot inside of corporate America, and I was blessed that in 1993, my foot stepped inside the office of Joe Nemec. He was the first person I ever remember asking me to sit down and just ask me questions about myself. First time. All the interviews I went on, nobody. Everybody just wanted to tell me what I was supposed to do, get me a little bit of information about this, the standard questions. Joe just wanted to know a lot more about who I am. And right away, we bonded. Long story short, Joe and I kicked butt and developed a market for Matsushita throughout all of Latin America. So, Joe, welcome to T20 Eat World. And I am happy because I am going to share everybody the information that you had sent me way back in 2006. Even though we always spoke about it, I still remember that email from you said, Huey, just always remember to be driven by vision, led by mission, and strengthened by purpose, and profit will follow. So, Joe, let's talk a little bit about this. Let's dissect this for everybody, all those young entrepreneurs, college students, maybe even high school grads that are just starting in, getting ready to go to school. This is so beneficial to be able to dissect such a deep statement that you sent me. And just so you know, Joe, I've had this framed up and on my wall since 2006. (laughs) So let's talk about driven by vision, Joe. What exactly do you mean when you talk about Remember to be driven by vision. Well, Hugo, it's, it's a real pleasure to be here with you. It's always great to chat with you. But, you know, I lived in Florida for a little over a year, and kids and the family and I, we went to uh, Disney World quite a bit. And I remember getting off of a ride in Epcot, and uh, I saw this sign after this fabulous ride, and it said, if you can dream it, you can do it. I was really impressed with that. Love and I that. found out that Walt Disney, he was the guy that was acclaimed for having that vision. If you can dream it, you can do it. But it was an employee of the Disney world and Disney that came up with that. So Disney dreamed the dream, but the employee, Tom Fitzgerald, described the mission on that Epcot side. Mr. Disney and his employees, fantastic. And I love that program they really have out there in, in Disney world. It's it's impressive. Even when you go visit, even on the rides, the way everything is just so structured, so organized. But I love yeah. that that motto of vision. I know that you always say driven by vision, but led by mission. You know, and it's again, it's not lead, it's led by mission. Talk to me a little yeah. bit about that. Well, first thing, the vision is the most important thing. You gotta capture the vision. And uh, I remember uh, many nights, and you've probably done this too, you go, you have laid in bed, sleeping, and then all of a sudden an idea, or let's call it a vision, <laughs> comes to you. And if you didn't have the paper by the bed to write it down, you've forgotten it by morning. So I think that's an important aspect of maintaining a vision or developing the vision. But I also think that surrounding yourself with the right people. I went to a management study one time survey program, and the guy by the name of Dr. Larry Gell, okay. uh, he was a professor and a businessman, said, surround yourself with highly competent, intelligent people that can and will contribute to your success. And I think that's important, finding the right people. And that uh, interrogation that you were on with me was part of that, finding the right people. And the mission's important, so it's got to be developed. And another important factor there is how you, the individual, and the people 
communicate together with the plan. Absolutely. And then also creating purpose and value. You remember back in the day, the company we worked for, uh, Mashusta. Mm-hmm. Back yeah. then, I think they used to, I mean, Mr. Mashusta himself, Konosuke, I believe, Matsushita, he yeah. had a hundred year plan back in the day. Isn't that true? That's, yeah, about the <laughs> 1930s, I think that was what he was able to say. You know, his hero, so to speak, was Thomas Edison. And Edison invented the light bulb, he was a great inventor. And I remember visiting the headquarters there in, in Osaka, Japan. And they had a statue of Thomas Edison. I asked why. And uh, that was the reason because uh, Konosuke Machusa was the uh, developer of Machusa Electric Works. Absolutely. And as you and I know, as you know, it also includes uh, the multiple company Panasonic. So Absolutely. So very successful individual that Mr. Konosuke Machusa. Good company. Excellent company. Loved, loved my year. I always say that was probably one of the best companies I ever worked for. I learned a lot. A lot of the Japanese culture, I thought it was just fantastic. And you're right, today it's uh, Panasonic of America, right? It all falls under one yeah. umbrella here in the U.S. That's awesome. Yeah. And then let's, uh, let's just talk about this, this next one that kind of sums everything together, right? So we have driven by vision, led by the mission, and then we're strengthened by the purpose. Talk to me mm-hmm. about that. Well, you know, I want to say that uh, technology today is a lot different than it was before. So we have to uh, be able to put some structure together in an organization that can move fast. Today's technology is moving at warp speed, as you well know. Oh, goodness. And multiple products used to be in the 1980s, a two-year product life cycle. Today, you can get brand new phones, different models. Every six months, they seem to be coming out with a new program, a new opportunity, uh, a new platform. So... It's amazing the speed that we have to operate with today. And uh, really, I like to say that even things like, uh, you know, individual or corporate life, we have to operate uh, differently. Either way, as an individual or corporate. And everything from, uh, you know, your mental attitude, your operational way you do things, or even your physical approach to things. You have to have that speed and agility today that we never had to have before. And, uh, and strength is knowledge, and we just have to be able to apply the mission, focus, and pinpoint the accuracy of our plan so that we can attain the goal. Absolutely. So you're saying led by mission, right? Yep. Well, that, I think, is the uh, structure to be able to attain the vision and develop it into a mission statement. Very important. And, you know, we, you and I have sat down many times to come up with programs and plans and when we started that uh, Latin American division. Oh, yeah. Uh, it was important for us to do that. Yeah, and I remember you. saying that we, and you were grading with me, and uh, we, we, were, we were putting this together. Again, strength is in people working the plans and developing the plans together. One person can't come up with it. Absolutely. But, I remember uh, that uh, mm-hmm. like it was yesterday. I remember sitting in your office and just breaking it down. I guess it was the old uh, Japanese way of kind of thinking and putting uh, some sort of a vision and mission together. It was the old plan, do, check, cycle, right? Absolutely. We, I, I remember uh, how we put that together and applied it, actually. And that has to be something that we apply individually as we go through life, as we're starting up. You know, people, people can uh, wake up in the morning and they can just do whatever happens. But the fact is, with no plan and no direction, anything is not possible. Anything is going to happen to you instead of it being a possibility in the direction that you want. So I think led by mission, you have to have a good mission state. It should be brief. It should be clear. It must promote character, character of a corporation, character of an individual, and character of the corporation is made up of character of each individual in that corporate environment. Character is so and important, Joe. It is. And promoting that character for the company is important. You know, it leads, the mission statement should lead and influence decisions. It creates the purpose, right? Absolutely. Okay, well, how many times do we say, well, why are we going to do this? Who are we going to see? Why are we going to uh, visit this company? You know? Character, anyway, one thing I've learned, Joe, with about character is when you apply it in your company, within your employees, without realizing, what you're doing is you're establishing a culture for 
your business. The culture is almost like a pathway of the, the people that work within your corporation. You know, so the character forms your culture. It, it kind of like builds that environment, the environment that is built by your style, your culture, and employees follow. That's why it's always so important, right, to be a, a good leader, one with the values, the integrity, the respect that's required to have that character to lead. I agree with that. Character is important. The good leaders are called managers. Agreed. The ones who are not necessarily the good leaders are usually called bosses. So true. I break it down <laughs> to the difference is character and how people are empl- how people are employed and utilized, not used, utilized. I don't mind you know being managed. I don't mind being utilized and recognized, but I don't like being used. So bosses use people, managers manage. Joe, that was one of the beautiful thing about you is I remember working under under you, Joe, and early on in my career, and you always, almost like you analyzed me, and you would extract all the strengths I had and brought it out in front of me and said, listen, Huey, you can do this, that, and the other thing. You know, this is the things you might want to work on, and these are the things you're just awesome at. And you did such a wonderful job, I remember, of setting that character and that tone for our division which is why we were so successful developing a huge Latin American sales division where we were negotiating with the top five telecommunications companies in the world, Lucent Technologies being one of them over in Campinas, Brazil. Remember that, Joe? Yes. Um, they, were, they were just great, great days. And again, Joe, I, it's so valuable to get you on the phone with all our listeners and everything to talk about, you know, such a powerful statement. I'm going to just repeat it one more time. Always remember to be driven by vision, led by mission, and strengthened by purpose. Profit will follow. I guess along with profit will follow, Joe, is a little patience, wouldn't you say? <laughs> yeah, you have, you have to be patient. There's no doubt about that. And also, recover from failures, too. Oh, well, no doubt. You learn from failures. Always. Mistakes are your best teachers in life, they say. So I also think that today more than ever, right, if you need that, I mean, speed and technology has always been very quick, rapid pace. But more today than ever, as a business owner, as an entrepreneur, and even for the the young graduates that are just kicking into gear here with their careers, agility, flexibility, and being able to pivot quickly is essential now more than ever. Wouldn't you say, Joe? I would agree with that 100%. like to throw in knowledge also, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding so that you can see the opportunities that are developing and be able to imply your strength and avoid your weaknesses. So knowledge, uh, wisdom, and understanding, if you don't have those three, you won't be able to apply the structure and the strength of your organization or yourself. Absolutely, Joe. I agree 200% on that one. Also, And this is for another episode, Joe, and I would love, love to have you back if you allow it to. So we can just talk about the plan, do, check cycle. That alone is a huge episode. You can dissect that and you can run a corporation based on such simple three words, right? The plan, do, check cycle of business and apply it to your life itself. That's a continuous function or continuous part of the plan, the plan, do, check, and act, and then plan, do, check. It's kind of it's kind of like a, a train or a, yeah. a plane taking off. And if you don't constantly manage your plan, do, check, and actions, you can go astray real quick. You won't hit the altitude that you want to. <laughs> so true. So true, Joe. Listen, Joe, as we start wrapping up here, I wanted to ask you, is there anything you would like to share with all the young entrepreneurs, graduates of universities, and even high school students that are moving on into college? Anything you want to share with us all? Well, I think that, you know, it's a broad range of people you're talking about there. It could be anywhere from a person trying to start a business to a person trying to get into college or find out what their next job is going to be. But they have to do some of the things that we spoke about. And uh, we talked a little bit about failure. It's a learning experience, but failure is not forever. I mean, you can always recover from the failure learned from. So I would say to anybody at any age, in any position that I'm going to take a little bit of 
or Mr. Disney and Mr. Fitzgerald there. I'm going to say dream it, analyze it, surround yourself with good people, and make it happen. It's all up to you. Love that, Joe. Thank you so much for sharing that with everyone, all our listeners. And Joe, once again, thank you so much for being on our episode here at T20E World. As we wrap up another episode, thank you for listening. And it's Joe Nemec and Hugo, and we are out until next time. Thanks again. 